Yo bros, this is we to play the Brent and Brashworks of YouTube. And I am playing Pokemon Dream Radar. Something I really have not touched in years. Now I'm doing this because I am playing Pokemon Black and White version. Well, Pokemon Black version. And I was look I was looking at the previous episode. Sorry, I've got like a really bad case of the hiccups right now. So, apologies for that. But I saw that the Pokemon GTS was a function that I can no longer work with Pokemon Black and White. But then I was thinking, wait, there's another function that should work. And that would be Pokemon Dream Radar. So in this mini-series, I will be playing just that. I am out in this field once again, which was where I recorded my uh, trying to get a shiny mini or video. But now I'm going to do Dream Radar. I just wanted to make sure I'm as secluded as I possibly can. Gosh darn these hiccups. That does I kind of look like her. So you're the new researcher. I appreciate you coming along. I'm Burnett. I research dreams. Oh my gosh, it really is Burnett from Sun and Moon. Gosh darn these hiccups. They're gonna be so bad today. As part of that research, I'm investigating a certain place. I'm really fascinated by something I saw there. The, mis the mystery Pokemon. There we go. Ooh. Look at those skillets. Oh. Silhouettes. So, I want you to help me with my research. What you, what you think? Try tapping start research on your device in your hand. There we go. I'll be using my thumb because it's hard to hold a stylus, the unit, and the camera at the same time. Okay, now we're ready. Let's be on our way. If dream clouds and dream orbs are moving quickly, set the Nintendo 3DS on a flat horizontal surface. Okay, would that be the ground? Because apparently the picnic table was moved from the last time I was over here. So, I guess it would be the ground. Okay, I haven't done this in a long time. Okay. M move the Nintendo 3DS system in front of you and move carefully. Okay, I think I should hold it this way. That way I have my thumb free. <laughs> So what you think? <laughs> I had you dive right in without an explanation, but right now you're looking at the space between dreams and reality. Ooh, reality. <laughs> it's called the interdream zone. Let's start by having a look around. Move the Nintendo 3DS around to look at your surroundings. Yep. Looks just about as real as the real world. <laughs> so you see a fluffy object flowing there like a cloud, right? Oh, now I see it. That's a dream cloud. They materialize in different cycles and create energy. And what I'd like to help... Excuse me. And what I'd like you to help me with is collecting that energy. I want you to gather the dream orbs made by the dream clouds. So what you think? I'll tell you how to gather them. Could you align the crosshairs with the cloud in the center of the screen? When a cloud is in your sights, press A. Can I just tap the screen? Please? No? Oh my gosh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Well, how about that? You're amazing! That beam isn't exactly easy to get a hang of, but... Not only were you blasting away with an ease, but your aim was spot on too. Can you keep it up and hit the remaining clouds with the beam? The number of clouds left. 
is next to the cloud icon on the touch screen. Look at this. I'm just about as terrible at recording this as I am Pokemon Go. Ah, uh, something's never changed. Oh yeah, the orbs coming from the clouds are called dream orbs. They got them. Hit the, hit the beam. You say, just like before. Okay, I guess I'm not going to pay too much attention to the flip video camera because I have to see what I'm doing on the Nintendo 3DS. Well, technically 2DS. Oh, I missed one! Dang it! So it's about hitting them quickly. And then you have the chance to get more dream orbs. Hello, this, there's this yellow one. I wonder what this could be. Could it be? That light might be a Pokemon. Sometimes Pokemon slip into the interdream zone. Would you help it out? You have to catch it first. Use A to fire the beam and store its movements. Then press A repeatedly. Keep hitting it with the beam until the meter fills up. If you take too much time, it will run away. I don't want to jinx it, but I think my hiccups just went away. Okay, I haven't done this in forever. Hard to do it with one hand. Oh my gosh, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose my first encounter. It's going to suck. How the heck am I going to do this when it comes to Tornadus, Landorus, and Thunderous? Not in that exact order, of course, but... Yay! I got a Muna! Yay! Considering I didn't find it in the episode you're going to watch, that's a good thing. If you catch a Pokemon, I want you to return to the real world. Could you send the Pokemon you catch to the trainer you trust most? Pokemon items can be sent. After you finish your search, select Send Research Data. Where to go? Oh my gosh, can I actually follow it? Where to go? The Pokemon just now, that's it! Wow, encountering it on your first search is just amazing! That is the mystery Pokemon I've been looking for. This search has concluded. Returning to the research lab. Look, I'm so happy to have met you. I really want your help. First, let's collect the dream orbs I need for my research. Dream clouds usually appear at the rate of one every five minutes. They don't form while you're researching, though. So visit the inner dream zone after many dream clouds have appeared. So what you think? I'll be counting on you from here on out. And I'll be doing this, like, maybe every day. You guys really need to tell me when you want to see me do this. Actually, I have tons of play coins. Hmm. I have tons of play coins. Why don't I just spam them all in this encounter? Yep, I'm going to just spam all my play coins. The more times that play coins can be used today. Oh, I can only do it. Two more times. That's fine, I guess. Start searching. Yes. If dream clouds and dream orbs move quickly, I already read this. Okay. Sorry about the quality, by the way. Again. So, I think I'll save the yellow ones until I get done with the pink ones. I think that's my best choice. Oh, jeez. Okay, so two yellows there. Are there any other pinks? There's one. Oh, this is so hard to do. That's why I need to pay more attention to the 3DS. Look at that. Rather than my flip video camera. Because that's not reliable in 
trying to hit these dream orbs. Because the more dream orbs I get, the more challenging um, levels I can go to, which means the more Pokemon I can encounter. Said Pokemon will go directly to my Pokemon Black game. Is there... Did one of the clouds disappear? Okay, now I'm doing good. Now that I'm actually just focusing on looking at the 3DS, I'm doing a tad better. Oh, I think I got damaged. See that timer right there? That's how much time I have to catch the Pokemon. And of course, the meter right here is how much more I have to play until I go, whoa, I got a Sigilith. Good gravy, that was early. Probably I had to take way longer to find the Sigilith in my Pokemon Black game. Dang it, why the clouds disappeared? Maybe that was the one I blasted. Thanks for the hard work. Are you making sure you eat? I'm trying. Alright. Use more play coins. I could do that two more times, including this time. And here we go. You know, I used to play this when, just before I went to Walmart to work. Because in case you didn't know, I used to work at Walmart. I don't aim more for personal reasons I won't get into. Ah, dang it. Used to be better at this, too. Uh, let's see... It would be best if I don't hit one of the pink clouds by accident. Dang it. Ah, yikes. Not doing too hot this time. Alright. Oh, this was just an orbs one. Ah, I couldn't get that one in time. Oh, there's a pink cloud here. There we go. And Pokemon time. So I'm not sure how I avoid getting attacked. Because... Ah, jeez. This is so hard to do. <laughs> Ooh, Violu? Are you serious? I was talking about that you couldn't get any Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh Pokemon, and I just caught a freaking Violu. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Glad I cheated the system. Thanks for your effort. The mystery Pokemon I saw was different from other lost Pokemon. They looked as if they were used to the inter-dream zone. Alright, one more time. Number of dream clouds will increase to the maximum, and I can't use any more play coins today, so this is the last time I get to play this. I'm glad I found a way to abuse it so I can play longer. I totally forgot I could use play coins for this. Well, let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you think I should use one of the dream Pokemon I get on my playthrough. And hopefully you'll want to see me play a little bit more of this. I may just focus on getting the legendary Pokemon. Who knows? Oh, the cloud's over here. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh, that's a lot of dream orbs. 
there's one behind that cloud. I ain't getting it. Oh, shoot, I hit two clouds at the same time. And another cloud. Okay, that, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. And I'm guessing... Oh, well, there's two more pink clouds over here. another Pokemon. Okay, so I think I could just blast it with my ray gun. The orbs that the Pokemon shoots at me. So I think every orb that hits me depletes my time. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, my hands hurt. Oh, I got an item this time. A yellow shard. And that's it for that search. Am I any closer to getting to a different level? Welcome back! Since I saw the mystery Pokemon, I've been totally absorbed in my interdream zone research. Ah, uh, well, there's the development lab. Let me check that. I want to upgrade the device you're using, but I need Dream Orbs. I will be able to make more progress if I have a lot, so keep them coming. So we got the Beam Upgrade, Energy Upgrade, Scope Upgrade, and something called a Vortex Charge. Hold the Pokemon place to make it easier to catch. Heck yeah! How many do I have? I got 181. Although the Scope in upgrade will increase the number of dream clouds that can be found. You know what? Let's go with that first. So next time I'll have even more dream clouds to mess around with. But now I don't have enough dream orbs to play anymore. So, if I go to Sin Research Data, if I have my Pokemon Black game in the unit, it should send all the Pokemon and items that I have to my Pokemon Black game. But, I can't do that right now. I'll do that in one of the upcoming episodes of Pokemon Black. But until then, and until my next episodes, let me know what you think about this. This has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later. I, I can't snap. I really can't snap. I'm holding too many things.